Some engineers looking at the failure of a 13-story condo tower in Florida said the collapse appeared to have begun somewhere near the bottom of the building. The investigation into what may be the deadliest accidental building collapse in American history has just begun, but experts who have examined video footage of the disaster outside Miami are focusing on a spot in the lowest part of the condominium complex possibly in or below the underground parking garage where an initial failure could have set off a structural avalanche. Called progressive collapse, the gradual spread of failures could have occurred for a variety of reasons, including design flaws or the less robust construction allowed under the building codes of four decades ago, when the complex was built. But that progression could not have occurred without some critical first failure, and close inspections of a grainy surveillance video that emerged in the initial hours after the disaster have given the first hints of where that might have been. It does appear to start either at or very near the bottom of the structure, said Donald O. Dusenberry, a consulting engineer who has investigated many structural collapses. It's not like there's a failure high and it pancaked down. The early examinations came as rescuers continued to push through the enormous heap of debris created when half the 13-story building, Champlain Towers South, fell away early on June 24. The remaining part of the building was later brought down as a safety measure, and the death toll has climbed to 86, with dozens still unaccounted for. While several bridges, overpasses, and buildings under construction fail each year, the catastrophic collapse of an occupied building absent a bomb or an earthquake is rare, and investigators are struggling to understand how it could have come with so little urgent warning. It would be like a lightning strike happening, said Charles W. Burkett, the mayor of Surfside, Fla, where the collapse occurred. It's not at all a common occurrence to have a building fall in America, he said. There was something very, very wrong with this situation. Structural engineers were shocked that a building that had stood for decades would abruptly crumble on an otherwise unremarkable summer night. But three years before the deadly collapse, a consultant found alarming evidence of major structural damage to the concrete slab below the pool deck and abundant cracking and crumbling of the columns, beams, and walls of the parking garage under the building. While no definitive conclusions could be drawn from the surveillance video, which was shot from a distance and reveals only one perspective of the disaster, some of the engineers reviewing it last week said it seemed to suggest that the failure began at a specific point near the bottom of the structure perhaps as far down as the parking garage beneath the building, or on the first few floors. One other clue that a problem started at the bottom of the building, immediately before the collapse, one of the residents saw a hole of sorts opening near the pool. Michael Stratton said his wife, Cassie Stratton, who is missing, was on the phone with him, and was looking out through the window of her fourth floor unit when, she told him, the hole appeared. After that, the call cut off. First, the south-facing central section collapsed, before the north-facing central section followed just three seconds later. Five seconds after that, the east-facing section crumbled. Some experts who have viewed the footage believe that the initial collapse was at the base of the building, around the pool area in front of the south-facing central section. Reports say, one resident, Cassie Stratton, was on the phone to her husband in the moments before the collapse looking out of the window. She told him, honey, the pool is caving in. Aerial images of the aftermath show the decking area around the pool having collapsed into the underground car parking area below. Champlain Towers South was built on a reclaimed wetland in 1981. Most blocks along the coast and high-rise buildings elsewhere are built on pile foundations, using columns of concrete and steel to transfer the load of the building into the ground. A short distance away is Champlain Towers North, built to an almost identical design. Residents are seeking reassurance that their buildings do not face similar problems, and local authorities have ordered checks to be carried out. The search and rescue operation in the rubble was halted on Thursday over concerns about the part of Champlain Towers South that remained standing. Structural engineers are worried a large column hanging from the structure could fall and damage support columns in the basement garage. Concrete floor slabs were also found to have shifted posing a risk of further collapse. Miami-Dade County Mayor Daniela Levine Cava said she hoped the operation to find survivors or victims would continue as soon as it was safe to do so. Owners of units in a Florida oceanfront condo building that collapsed with deadly consequences were just days away from a deadline to start making steep payments toward more than $9 million in major repairs that had been recommended nearly three years earlier. That cost estimate, from the Morabito Consultants engineering firm in 2018, 
meant owners at Champlain Towers South were facing payments of anywhere from $80,000 for a one-bedroom unit to $330,000 or so for a penthouse to be paid all at once or in installments. Their first deadline was July 1st. One resident whose apartment was spared, Adalberto Aguero, had just taken out a loan to cover his $80,000 bill. I figured I would pay it off after they fixed the building. I didn't want to pay it off before because you never know, said Aguero, adding that he pulled paperwork to make the installment payments a day after Thursday's collapse. I said cancel everything. Our top priority since day one has been to do everything possible, everything humanly possible, and to explore every single portion of the collapsed grid in search of survivors, Miami-Dade County Mayor Daniela Levine Cava said at a press conference Wednesday evening. At this point, we have truly exhausted every option available to us in the search and rescue mission. No one had been pulled alive from the rubble since the early hours after the building partially crumbled on June 24. Rescue crews who by Wednesday had removed 7 million pounds of concrete and cement from the wreckage had said they would keep searching as long as there was a chance someone could be found. Nearly 90 people are still unaccounted for. The death toll stands at 54, but is expected to rise. That's all for today, I hope you learned a lot through this video, hit the like button if you enjoyed this content, don't forget to subscribe if you are new here and you want more. Thanks for watching, I will see you in the next video.